used car lot. There are two other car source locations on Sheridan Road. Cal Rittenhouse spent most of the night here, close to the destroyed lot. But shortly before midnight, he left and walked to a different car source lot four blocks away, where he would allegedly shoot the first of three men. Two videos appear to capture the shooting. In the first one, it's difficult to see. This is Kyle Rittenhouse. Joseph Rosenbaum is here. They both move out of the frame and disappear behind a car before gunshots erupt. This is a second video from a different angle. Here, you can see Rittenhouse before shots are fired. And here, you can see Joseph Rosenbaum. But look closely to the far left, just beyond the lot. Look for a flash. Somebody discharges a weapon seconds before Kyle Rittenhouse starts shooting. After the shooting, Rittenhouse walks around the black sedan, then seems to look down at Rosenbaum as he takes out his cell phone. The shooting sparks a chase down Sheridan Road. That's when Brendan Gutenschwager turns on his camera. People were immediately um, yelling at him, saying, get him, grab him. Um, he just shot somebody. In hot pursuit was Anthony Huber, holding the skateboard and Gage Grosscourts, armed with a gun. They were chasing after him, and at a certain point, he tripped and fell, the man with the gun. And so then as people started to close in on him and surround him, he started firing off at them. During the confrontation, Rittenhouse shoots and kills Anthony Huber and seriously injures Gage Grosskreutz. The shooter just got up and proceeded to walk towards the line of police um, that were there in the Bearcat and a couple vehicles. And he basically just walked right up to them with the gun still out in front of him. Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Rittenhouse was not arrested and drove back to his home in Illinois that same night. A few hours later, accompanied by his mother, the 17-year-old turned himself in to police. You want to 